What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Today we are going to get started on some very important pieces of our chicken coop build. Stay tuned. We are a few days out from the Homesteaders of America conference. I'm still trying to get my voice back. I had a fantastic time meeting some of y'all folks and uh, now it's time to get back to work. So let's do it. First thing we're going to do is get started on the laying boxes. Since the coop is already built, I'm going to construct the boxes and then just screw them into the side of the coop. But we got to build the boxes first and that's what we're going to do today. Some of the material I already had and some of the material I had to go out and buy. But we're going to do what we can with what we have and I think it's going to be just fine. First thing I have to decide is how many laying boxes do I actually want in there. We're going to give them 12 inches of space, basically making a 12 by 12 box. I think I'm going to go with four feet. That gives me four laying boxes. We don't have a ton of layers anymore and I don't believe we're going to get any more. So this is good. Looks like I have plenty for what I'm gonna need. So the first thing I'll do is cut up the longer ends of the boxes. This is one and a half by one and a half, also called a two by two, which is not two by two. Why can't they just call it a one and a half by one and a half? Yeah, 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 I get it. It's how the lumberyard does it, but still. When it's at Home Depot, I'm pretty sure they can just call it a one and a half by one and a half, whatever. Some of these other pieces, I'm just gonna have to trim down. They also need cut because they're all a bit long. These were table legs that didn't pan out. Let's cut those up. Just because I wanted to make sure that they were all the same size, I flipped them over because there's a little bit of an overhang on the edge. So I'm just gonna trim that off so they're all even. All these pieces I'm going to trim to 12 inches because those will be my depth. I'll just mark one and then cut all the rest to the exact same length. What I want to do now is lay out the pieces that I've already cut and make sure that my next cuts aren't going to get screwed up. I tend to build on the fly. Sometimes I make a scratch plan, which, were, which is where I just jot things down the way I think it should be. And then when I get to it, that's when I make quite a few mistakes. The problem with building things exactly the way you want them for your projects means that sometimes the plans that you have aren't quite correct. You can use them as a template, but you're gonna to have to adjust your measurements. And that's where things can get a little bit finicky. I measured outside of the barn, so I know kind of where everything is, but I didn't make an actual plan. I'm still learning how to use SketchUp, which is a free web-based CAD drawing program, but I'm way better at paper and pencil. The problem with paper and pencil is I get a little lazy. I don't know that I'm gonna call it lazy. I just get really excited to build things before I'm ready. Anyone out there like that? These four foot pieces are obviously the length 
of our laying box, okay? These guys here are going to be the height of our box. I thought I cut six of these. Apparently I only cut four, not a problem. I'll cut two more, come back to it. So I'm gonna have two of these frames that will be the box. And then I'll take these guys here, go the long way. They'll connect this frame to the other frame right here. All the pieces have been cut. We got the 12 inchers, we got the 14 inchers, recycled wood it's from a different project. Now it's time to get the assembly going. Fun times. Let's get it done. Being a little over anal about where the middle is here. I just want to make sure it's lined up and that it's dead center. Not that it even matters, but matters to me. Boom. Thought about using the Craig jig on these pieces here so that way I didn't screw into the end grain. Basically put it like that and right in. I just don't know. Probably just gonna go right in that way. I think we'll be fine. Still got a pre-drill, so maybe it is worth doing it the other way. Our frame is all done. I need to make the top, and I haven't decided if I want to go like this 
or if I want to be traditional and come straight down or get funky and maybe make some wings. I'm not going to do that, but I thought it would be cool. The roofing material is going to be pretty much the same stuff that's already up on the coop. So I don't need to worry about that right this second. We're going to take care of that at another point. Also, I'm not going to put the sides on right now because I need to wait until I do all the cutting for the sides of the actual coop. I really just wanted to get the frame done, so I had it. It's raining outside, I can't work on the coop anyway, so this was like a good start to getting a lot of that sort of done. I may actually wait to do the framing for the roof, simply because I don't really know exactly where I'm going to affix it, and I want to decide what roof pitch I'm going to use based on where it's located, where the windows are, and stuff like that. Since I haven't really sorted all that out, pretty much just wanted to get this part done. The last thing I'm going to do is make some slots that I can slide the dividers in at. The divider in the middle is going to stay put. The dividers on the right and the left of that, they're going to be able to be slid out in case we just have a hen who's sitting on some eggs and she's not trying to share that box. I just want to give her a little bit more room. Plus, cleaning it out would be a whole lot easier. You just take that out and then you've got just an empty box to clean up. And that's it. Let me get the router out and let's get some slots cut. Change of plans. I'm not going to use the router. I'm going to use the chisel instead because I don't really feel like dealing with the dust or the noise right now. So let's try that. I cut all the dividers up, so let's see if they fit. This is usually where I probably screwed up, so cross your fingers or start laying bets to see if I made a mistake or not. Ooh, ooh, perfect fit. Another perfect fit. Alright, I am feeling pretty good about this. Everything is fitting pretty nice, and uh, all we have left to do now is attach it to the chicken coop, but we're not there yet. That's next. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more on this chicken coop uh, re structure remodel chicken coop remodel that's what we're doing a chicken coop remodel i have some pretty cool things in my head that i'm hoping to do to this thing and i think you'll enjoy it so stay tuned <laughs>